I mean, Austria is a moderately large com country. I mean, basically, all the wine growing regions uh, are right along kind of the eastern, northeastern border uh, of Austria, um, butting up against Hungary and then the Czech Republic and, and Slovakia. Um, and kind of along that border and then extending up the Danube um, River a little bit towards, uh, again, towards the Czech Republic. Uh, warmer comparatively in, in, you know, in kind of the Austrian world, um, certainly not Mediterranean warm, but warmer uh, wine growing region um, kind of right up against uh, Hungary and Bergen land and that's where you see uh, most of the red grapes and certainly the most serious Blau Frankish and most serious Saint Laurent um, production happens there and then as you move kind of up the Danube and, and, and towards the west a little bit things get comparatively a little bit cooler uh, until you get to the Wachau which is the most extreme growing region as far as being hot during the day but very cool during the night um, and in the Wachau and the Krimstal and the Kemtal, um, in, uh, in, in kind of the, that, that sort of northwestern reach of the Danube, or at least within Lower Austria, um, that's where you get, you know, the greatest white wine expressions, you know, the, that limited production of, of, of great Rieslings, particularly from the Wachau and from the Krimstal, um, and certainly a lot of, of, the, of the greatest and most distinctive uh, Grunewald leaners.